Dudes and this is Chris from Beer Saras, and today we're going to check a review of a Masterverse figure uh, from Masters of the Universe, New Eternia. This is going to be Faker, and this is uh, has been talked about a lot about this figure, a lot of people, because the actual head sculpt is pretty awesome. It resembles He-Man, and uh, they didn't put that head sculpt into He-Man, so that's weird. <laughs> so yeah, a lot of people have been talking about this, guys. It's pretty cool. The box is nice. I, I mean... We all love this kind of artwork on the figure, on the actual uh, box. It's pretty nice. I don't know what, what's going on with that. I think it's Snake, it's Snake Mountain, so it's pretty awesome. Here in the back, we have a uh, new Eternia Skeletor. You know, it's pretty cool. It looks like a biking guy, but you can take all that accessories, and he looks pretty awesome. I also have that guy, and he's just pretty good as well. Not disappointed at all. So, yeah, artwork on this is just amazing. I mean, it's pretty, pretty awesome. So yeah, let's uh, take this guy out of the box and see what's going on. So here we have a faker out of the packaging and it looks pretty dope, pretty cool. All those type of blues. I mean, I thought uh, at the beginning that it was just gonna be like solid blue uh, plastic on him. And no, it's uh, different kinds of blue shading going on. I think maybe it's plastic, the blue plastic, and then they put some green shading other blues on it it looks pretty pretty dope so yeah all those blues are looking pretty cool pretty dope and especially the head sculpt right that uh, everybody's talking about this head sculpt that is the best uh human head sculpt that uh this line has so yeah head sculpt pretty pretty nice also uh has nice uh shading on it as well as the body so it looks pretty dope uh also the actual uh, hair is painted as well it's not just uh plastic brown it has some uh, wash of a uh, other kind of uh, brown maybe it's kind of cool and of course the chest piece is pretty dope as well very reminiscent of the uh, Bento I think this is from a comic line you know the look I don't know <laughs> but it's pretty dope and now uh, the skull is painted a little uh, yellow light there here the actual uh, waist belt is also pretty cool, wear down, so that's awesome. Uh, some shading here as well. You know, panel lining if you want to call it, it's pretty nice. Wash, also the bracelets look pretty dope as well. The boots have also paint, so that's pretty cool. So this guy is just filled with paint, man, that other companies are not doing. <laughs> I'm not going to say the names. But yeah, Hasbro, you need to improve yourself on Marvel Legends and do something like this, you know. Just care a little bit more for us, for the collectors. Here we have with the uh, without the chest piece, and this is looking pretty dope. All of this is very impressive. This part here, this little uh, square or rectangular piece. On the vintage one, it has a st it had a sticker on it. This guy, they actually sculpt every detail on that thing, man, and paint every detail separately. So that, my friends, I applaud Mattel and the guys in charge of doing these toys. I'm thinking that they're, they're really, really into uh, Motus, and they like their jobs, and they like uh, the cartoon and all of that stuff. Maybe they're fans of it, and it's just looking pretty good, man. I mean, not just that part. I mean, the entire figure has paint on it. So that's awesome but that is just an extra extra piece vintage wise for us in nostalgic part of the figure the shoulders has a little bit of a paint out here uh, silver you know so you can understand that he is not the original he-man i'm gonna talk about that as well in a moment and uh, here we have another uh, piece here i don't know what that is for most likely in a cartoon is meant for something i don't remember but uh it's another piece um, that differs from He-Man and the entire mold is completely different I thought for a moment that it was gonna be the same as He-Man's but no I don't know if it's the paint that makes it look different but He-Man is like uh, very rip you know all the muscles are there and this guy it looks like is made of a clay not very tuned muscles like he wants to be like He-Man but it, he doesn't so that's why he's faker right so even that, they actually nailed that part as well, that uh, that uh, cherry on the top of this figure that make him different as well. Not the same mold. They can use the same mold as he but they didn't. So that's awesome. 
That's great, man. Great fear. Also comes with other two hands, you know, a fisted hand and a relaxed hand, you know. But uh, that's it. You can actually pose like this. You get clever in time. Even though he doesn't have a butterfly joint, you can actually do this pose. So that's pretty cool. And uh, you can also hold the sword with the two hands. Let me try that. Hold on. So yeah, he can actually do the Conan pose <laughs> with the two hands. And again, no butterfly, but uh, the long arms and articulation helps him on doing this uh, this pose. So that's pretty cool. And uh, also the sword is different. I thought it was going to be the same, just the molded uh, power sword. Uh, just painted different uh, purple, but no, they actually did completely different mold. Handle is pretty cool as well. So yeah, it's like uh, made of pieces, metal stuff going on. You know, not the same shape here and there. So that's pretty cool. Awesome, awesome thing to see here. Even, <laughs> even this part here. As you can see, it has imperfection. So not even the power sword is a completely copy of the original one. So that's awesome. Here we have the axe. Also, the axe was not, I was thinking it was going to be the same mold, but no, they actually did another mold so it can be different. So like I said, these guys are putting a lot of love into these figures, man. So yeah, pretty cool. I don't know the names of the guys. I'm going to see who the make this figure because they need credit for this they're awesome thank you guys from Mattel you are rocking it so yeah pretty cool paint apps and all the things is pretty awesome let's uh, talk about the articulation articulation this guy uh, head rotates 360 degrees moves down good up uh, not much just a little bit you can use the torso so you can look up a little bit, but for the hair, it's cold, but it doesn't let you. You can actually uh, cut this part here a little bit more, so you can actually bend the, the peck here if you wish. You have to just be very careful. <laughs> I don't recommend it though. Arms move on to here, 90 degrees, uh, rotation as well. So a little bit hander about this spikes here, but uh, the chest piece, but you can manage it. Rotation on the bicep, double articulation on the elbow, which works pretty good. Uh, nor I thought it was gonna have rotation here on the on the wrist, uh, on the bracelet things, but nope. You can rotate it here on the hand, and uh, has a hinge on the hand, so that's pretty cool. Now on the diaphragm, you can move it down a little bit, back more, but it has a little uh, hollowness here. Sideways, it's pretty cool. And you can also completely rotate it, so that's awesome. You can rotate the waist as well, which is cool. The hips, you can almost do the band dam with no problem. You can do the leg front like until here, back until here because of the butt cheeks. Rotation on the thigh, double articulation on the knee, which works pretty cool. Rotation on the boot, love that. They put that rotation here as uh, McFarlane he didn't use this uh, McFarlane needs to use this rotation on the boots it's, you can hidden the articulation there it's not noticeable and the feet you can move it all the way down and until here up uh, this is where the articulation stops for this guy I wish it move a little bit farther so you can pose it better but it's it's all right you can manage it and it has his pivot so that's pretty cool pretty good articulation just the actual ankle that's the only thing that bothers me but the rest is good you can manage it holster his sword on the back you know just no no open space for the axe but you can manage that and he can hold the axe on the other hand so that's pretty cool also he can reach to grab the sword on the back so that's awesome so yeah pretty badass figure here all right guys well we're gonna end wrap up this uh, video here so this is a great figure, I cannot recommend him enough, it's really awesome, articulation wise, it's great, it's functional, you're gonna have a couple of flaws here and there, but it works at the end, and it works well, so cannot be disappointed with this guy, I cannot recommend it enough again. So yeah, get it, and especially if you're a Motu collector, myself, I don't collect all the Motu lines or whatever, you know, I do love the actual cartoon and the the old cartoon you know I, I watched it all the time when I was a kid 
and I love it. You know, I had a bunch of toys when I was a kid. I never, I don't know what happened to all of them. I, mean, I guess they got lost or got stolen. I don't know. The thing is that um, I didn't like that much the Vintage line because they have the rubber things on the legs and they always got broken and stuff. So I, I just didn't like that. But now with the orange line, uh, Origins line, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm going to go with the orange Origins <laughs> or I was going to say orange. <laughs> Origins or uh, New Eternia. I think I'm gonna stick with New Eternia. They're really good almost the same price sometimes so and, and play factor and display Presence is very vivid on these guys. It's just amazing how this figure looks man and uh, Character wise as well. So yeah, so just uh, Subscribe hit the bell if you like it or not uh, if, if you want to see more feet more reviews of me uh, hit uh, like, dislike, it's cool. If you don't like it, just thumbs down, I don't care. As long as you hit that <laughs> button. And uh, good comments, uh, bad comments, uh, well, not bad comments, uh, commentary, uh, you know, constructive <laughs> is welcome, you know. And uh, just uh, remember, keep on rocking, and most importantly, keep on collecting, baby. Beavers or us, out. Laters.